So I did my digital field trip on the Buffalo Zoo, and I was focusing on second grade. For my first slide, I included vocabulary that I thought was essential for the students to know for the remainder of the presentation. So I included diet, habitat, appearance, which are the three key concepts that I'm going to focus on for the rest of the presentation. And then I included the four types of diets that were essential for the kids to know. So for this slide, I incorporated an image of a bus and then I included a video of bus sounds just to make it feel more re realistic for the students that they're actually leaving school and going on a field trip. And then I included an image of the Buffalo Zoo entrance just as another way to make the field trip feel more realistic for the students. I inserted a picture of the Buffalo Zoo map because I thought if we were actually on a field trip to the Buffalo Zoo that each of the students would have a map like this. I also inserted symbols just to show where we are and what animals we're going to be looking at. So for this slide, you can see that I put the start at the bottom near the giraffes. So it just shows that the first stop we're going to go on is the giraffes. The first stop on the field trip is to visit the giraffes. For each of the animals, I inserted one or two educational videos and that just gave some basic information on the animal. I also provided a link to the Buffalo Zoo website, which is right up here in the purple. And I inserted that link just as a supplemental material, just in case the video didn't cover something that I thought was important that the website would cover. And for each animal, I wanted the students to master the diet, habitat, and appearance. So after we learned about the animal, I would ask the students, what did we learn in terms of diet, habitat, and appearance, and then we would go over that as a class, and I just had that basic information on the side. Then I would, I inserted another image of the map, and I put in arrows just to show like where our next stop at the zoo was. So for this, we started at the giraffes, and then the arrow shows that we're going to be moving to the rhinos. So I just continued the same pattern for each of the seven animals that I included. So I had the video with the Buffalo Zoo link and then I just had the basic information I wanted each student to know. And the map where it shows that we're moving to the zebras next. And for my videos, I tried to find the best uh, educational videos on YouTube. So for, for example, this one is from National Geographic. You may already know that lions are big cats, weighing up to 500 pounds and growing up to 10 feet long. Lions are the second largest members of the cat family after tigers. But here are some things you probably didn't and I noticed that some of the National Geographic ones were a little too advanced for second grade, so then I would try and find a more basic video, so I found this one. Lions. You may have heard lions are the kings of the jungle. Well, actually... Lions don't live in the jungle at all. Lions roam on grassy plains and woodlands in Africa and Asia. They are the second biggest of the big cats. Only tigers are slightly larger. So those are just some of the resources that I found on YouTube for the videos for each of the animals. So I included a total of seven animals, and throughout the presentation, I, was, I would have my students just take some very minimal, simple notes on each of the animals so they could use that 
for the the end project that they're going to complete. And then I just put in the stop just to show that that was our last stop was the bighorn sheep. So at the end, I would have my students create a poster on one of the animals we learned about and they would use those simple minimal notes that they were taking throughout the presentation to complete it. So I found um, this template which includes the animal's name, where the animal lives, so the habitat, what the animal looks like, the appearance, and then what the animal eats, the diet, and then just two fun facts that they remembered from the videos or from the Buffalo Zoo link and then just draw a picture of the animal. This is how I would assess my students and through this project I'd be able to tell if the students understood the key concepts diet, habitat, and appearance. And then at the end I just provided citations to all of my videos and my assessment and also the Buffalo Zoo website link. So that was my digital field trip to the Buffalo Zoo.